Hi, my name is Chris Jackson. I am a business attorney. I've been one for 25 years. And today I'm going to take you through the process of setting up on your own online within several minutes, your own limited liability company in the state of North Carolina. I'm going to go through the process with you in a real time screen share walkthrough where I address every question I think you might have along the way. I address each option and the pros and cons of each option so that by the end of the video, when you're ready to push that final button to form your LLC in the state of North Carolina, you'll be confident that you're setting it up exactly the way that you want to. You should note that the link to this screen share is an affiliate link. It's not gonna cost you anything extra. However, it will if you use it to form an LLC in North Carolina. Provide me with a little bit of extra coffee money, which I appreciate. And I must say coffee is a necessary component to making these videos. Pretty dry topic, let's admit it. And for that, I thank you very much and thank you for supporting the channel. And importantly, I would never recommend any service or product to anyone unless I used it myself. I use Busy exclusively for all of my own LLCs and my clients' LLCs for the simple reason that they are quick, they're cost effective, the process is simple customer service is both responsive and in my view excellent so let's go ahead and get started go ahead and select a link below my video in the description or in the comments section and we'll go to the screen share right now just real quickly I want to introduce you to my dog Jax he is looking a little bit as my daughter would say musty right now and I guess he doesn't want to be on camera <laughs> Okay, if you selected the link under my video in the description or in the comment section, you would have arrived here. Before we press this button and go to the next page, I just want to point out that there's a customer service number right here. I have used that customer service number. They've been very responsive and helpful. Hopefully I will answer all of your questions and you won't need them, but they are available in case you do. So let's go ahead and come down here and press this orange button. Okay, on this page, we're gonna choose entity type, which will be LLC. The state of formation is going to be North Carolina. All right, as you can see, we have three options here. We have premium, standard, and basic. I'm gonna cover all three options. I think standard is the best for most people for the reasons I'm going to discuss, but I wanna make sure I cover basic, standard, and premium so you understand the pros and cons of each option. So let's go ahead and start with basic. Before we go there, just note that the fee to set up your LLC in North Carolina is a one-time fee. Busy is not gonna charge you annually for this fee. Some of their competitors do, but they do not. All right, so what's included in the basic package? The first item is preparing and filing the Articles of Organization. The Articles of Organization is the document that is filed in the state of North Carolina. It is what forms the LLC officially in that state. It needs to be filed. That's part of all three of these packages, of course. One thing I wanna point out about the Articles of Organization in the state of North Carolina, and that is in the Articles of Organization, you may have to indicate whether you wanna be a member managed LLC or a manager managed LLC. If you want to be a manager managed LLC, in North Carolina, the default is member managed. So you will have to get busy a call and let them know as soon as you order your LLC, give them a call, reach out to them, let them know, send them a message that you want your LLC to be filed as a manager managed LLC, and then they will indicate that on the Articles of Organization. If for some reason you forget to do that, you can always go back and amend your Articles of Organization later to switch it from member managed to manager managed. All right, as you can see, there's a drop down menu here. They have three other items included with the Articles of Organization, one of which is the Statement of Organizer. The Statement of Organizer is simply a statement that is issued by a representative from Busy or the Agent for Service of Process that essentially says, I organize this LLC and I'm now resigning and they're just giving notice to the state that they're no longer involved with the LLC. This is a standard document. Banking resolutions, what are banking resolutions? In order to open a bank account, which you should do for your LLC, no matter what, for the reasons I've talked about in other videos, some banks may require you to submit banking resolutions, which is essentially a resolution from the LLC authorizing the opening of a bank account. Many banks have their own forms, but to the extent a bank requires this and they don't have a standard form that they want you to use, 
Busy will provide that for you. Unlimited name searches, that is a decent value add, I guess, but it's also something you can do on your own in the state of North Carolina. You just go to the Secretary of State's website and you can search for your preferred business name to see whether it's already in use or not. And that way you know whether it's available to you. All right, the next item is free registered agent service for a year. What is a registered agent? A registered agent is a company or a person in the state of North Carolina that agrees to receive what's called service of process, and that is the filing of a lawsuit. So God forbid your LLC gets sued. The plaintiff in the lawsuit needs to be able to look up who is the agent for service of process for your particular LLC so they know where to serve this lawsuit. This is required that you have an agent for service of process. Busy will provide that service to you for free for the first year, which is a great value. They will also cap ongoing fees so long as you use their service they're going to cap the fees the fees are currently $119 per year which is in my opinion compared to competition also great value you do not however have to assign busy as your registered agent for service of process you can use yourself and your address as a registered agent you could use a family member or if you have another company you prefer to use you can do that as well it is up to you just note that the agent for service of process, both the name of that agent and the address of that agent is public knowledge. All right, the next item in this package is lifetime company alerts. What is a lifetime company alert? You can always click on this window here. It'll explain it. But essentially you have to file what's called an annual report for your LLC. You do not want to be late. There are some grace periods depending upon the state because if you are too late in filing your annual report, your LLC could go into delinquency status. So Busy will provide an alert just reminding you, hey, you need to file this annual report. They're gonna provide unlimited phone and email support, which is great. They're gonna provide you with an online access dashboard. The online access dashboard is essentially something you can log into after you form your LLC. You can check on the status of the formation. If you choose the standard or premium package, you're gonna have access to certain document, which we'll discuss later. You can also book certain appointments through this online access dashboard. I use the online access dashboard quite frequently. I happen to have a number of LLCs in my portal. I can see them all. All my documents are in one place. I find the online access dashboard to be very useful and user friendly. All right, the next item is business banking account offer. What is that? Well, you have the opportunity to set up a bank account with Busy's preferred banker. It's generally Bank of America. We'll get to that screen a little bit later, but essentially they're gonna offer you the introduction to a business banker that will help you set up your LLC business bank account. And if you meet or exceed certain deposit requirements, there may be some bonuses that they will put into the account for you. We're gonna cover that momentarily. Business tax consultation. After you go through this process and form your LLC, you have the opportunity to arrange a consultation with a tax advisor. That tax advisor will go over certain things like what tax classification do you want for your LLC? And you should know that if it's a single member LLC, the default is to be taxed as a sole proprietorship, which will subject the LLC to a 15 0.3% self-employment tax. The default for a multi-member LLC, so two or more members, is to be taxed as a partnership. If you prefer S-Corp tax status, which in many ways is advantageous for the reasons that I've covered in other videos, except with respect to real estate holding LLCs or real estate related LLCs. And again, I cannot give you tax advice, but a lot of people may want to choose S-Corp tax status. But that's one of the items you're going to cover in this tax consultation. You're also going to go over some other items. We're going to cover which items later. All right, so that's the basic package. Let's go to the standard package. Before we do, just note that the basic package is $0 to Busy and $128, which is the state filing fee in the state of North Carolina. The standard package, as you can see, is $199 more than the basic package plus the state filing fee. So the question is, what do you get for that extra $199? And again, this is a one-time fee that you will be paying. So let's talk about that right now. So the first item, as you can see here, is the EIN business tax number. What is an EIN? An EIN is an employer identification number or tax ID for your LLC. You need this to open a bank account. You need this to have payroll. You need this if you're going to file a separate tax return for your LLC. It's essential that you have it to open a business bank account, which is a very important next step. So they will help you obtain this and they will do that within usually one business day. 
after you form your LLC. The next item included is the operating agreement. They're gonna provide you with a Word version of a standard operating agreement for your LLC in the state of North Carolina. Every LLC needs an operating agreement for the reasons I have discussed in other videos. It's the most important document that you can have. It governs how you operate your LLC. It's important for asset protection purposes and for so many other purposes. The operating agreement itself is pretty simple. However, to the extent you need it to open a bank account, you will have it right away. If you want something more comprehensive, I have another video on how to obtain a more comprehensive one for free. However, you cannot modify that if you opt for the free version. I also have a related company of mine that is producing attorney quality legal templates including operating agreements which are very comprehensive address most issues that an attorney can think of to put in an operating agreement and you get that a small fraction of what you pay an actual attorney the reason is that it doesn't come with legal advice with the operating agreement specific to you i always recommend getting legal advice in your own jurisdiction but the bottom line is is you have a few different options i'll put the links to both of those two options under my video in the description the last item included is irs form 2553 that is a form you have to file with the irs within a certain time period and busy will help you determine what that time period is as applicable to you but you have to file that if you want to elect for example s corp tax status for your llc and you don't want to go with the default tax status and if that's what you're interested in they will help you do that through your online access dashboard okay that's the standard package now let's cover the premium package and you see right here that you're paying $100 more for the premium package compared to the standard package. The question is, of course, what are you getting for that extra $100? And the answer to that includes, number one, you are receiving expedited filing. What is expedited filing? As you can see, it will allow you to set up your LLC in North Carolina within five days instead of four weeks. If you are in a hurry to get your LLC up and running, which I generally, when I set up an LLC, I just want to get up and running and going and done. I want to make sure it gets approved so I can get started with my LLC. Then they will include expedited filing. There are two other items included in this premium package that are not in the standard package. I'm going to go over them momentarily, but I just want to point out that if you are not interested in either of the two extra items, but you want expedited filing, you always have the option, and I do this often, picking a standard package and then adding the expedited filing later for $50. That way you don't spend the full $100 difference between the standard and the premium. So that's an option for you to consider and I just wanted to point that out. All right, in addition to expedited filing, as you can see included in the premium package is a domain name and business email. That might be a good value add for you. You could also obtain it through GoDaddy or other providers, it's really up to you. Lastly, they're gonna provide you with a series of business contract templates in Word version so if you are a do-it-yourselfer and you feel like you could take some of these templates and craft them for your own purposes, then they have that available to you in the Platinum package. In my case, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna choose a standard package and I'm gonna go down and press continue. All right, this next page is where you have to indicate what your LLC name is. I'm using a name that I've used as an example in the past. I'm just sticking with that theme, Chris Jackson Mobile Dog Grooming. After the name of your LLC, you have to provide what's called a designator. These are your options in the state of North Carolina. You have, let's see, five of them. I'm going to choose just the clean LLC, no periods. And I will just say this, when you're presenting yourself to the public, always include LLC after the name of your company. The reason is you want the public to know, that party to know, that you're operating behind a limited liability company and not as a sole proprietorship. Next. Okay, because I picked the standard package and not the premium package, they are allowing me the opportunity to get expedited filing here for an extra $50. We went over this before, I prefer that. You also have the option if you're not in a hurry to not get it, it's not gonna cost you anything extra if you simply choose four weeks filing time. In my case, I like expedited filing for the reasons I discussed, so I'm gonna choose that. Next. Okay, this next page, they're asking for your own contact information. Note that this information is provided to busy only. It's for internal purposes. It's not necessarily for public knowledge. So go ahead and provide your name and your email and your mobile phone to busy. Next. Okay, on this next page, they're asking for your company address information. What is the address for the LLC itself? This is not your personal address. This is your LLC address. Note that in the state of North Carolina, whatever you choose for your address, that's going to become public knowledge. 
You have a couple different options here. You can choose your own address. That could be your home address if you're not worried about anonymity. It could be an office address if you have an office or a retail location if that applies. If you have that address, you would fill it in down here. And then lastly, Busy will provide you with a professional business address and virtual mail service. I use this service myself. It costs $29 a month. You can cancel at any time. I find it to be very valuable for me personally because A, the price is pretty darn competitive. In fact, I've not seen a virtual office price this low, quite frankly. But what I really like about it is when they receive mail addressed to the LLC, they will text me that they receive mail. They will email me that they receive mail. I can then access that mail and that mail will also be in my online access dashboard as a scanned piece of mail. That way I know all of my documents are in one place. One thing you should also note, if you're going to use your own address, it does not necessarily need to be in the state of North Carolina. As long as you have a registered agent for service of process in the state of North Carolina, you don't need your own address there. Okay, so next is the contact address. Just note this is between you and Busy. It tells you down here how they will use this address. It's not for public knowledge, it's for internal purposes only. Next. All right, on this page, they are giving you the opportunity to add on the features that were in the premium package. As you can see here are the business contract templates, domain name, you could add them on for $99 here. However, this is not a good deal in my view. If you're interested in either business contract templates or domain name and business email address, I would simply go back and choose the premium package from the beginning. The reason is that the premium package includes the $50 expedited filing fee. So if you pay $99, $99 here and I've already included $50 for the expedited filing fee. You're essentially paying $149 for something you could have paid $100 for had you chose the premium package to begin with. So no thanks, I will pass. All right, this is where you provide the member information. The first question is the number of members. So in my case, I'm a single member LLC, but you can choose up to six to start with when you form your LLC. Just note that let's say you have two members, let's say it's a husband and wife and you're forming an LLC and you're each going to own 50%. You have to input the information for each member. So member number one in my case would be me and I'd choose 50% here and then I'd input the information for member number two down here which would be my wife, and I would choose 50%, and I would choose next. All right, in my case, I'm just choosing a single member LLC. So as a single member LLC, you have individual or company are the two options. I'm an individual single member LLC. However, if, for example, you have a holding company, let's say this North Carolina LLC owns a piece of property in North Carolina or will own a piece of property in North Carolina, but it's actually owned by a Wyoming LLC, and this is a typical holding company structure, that I cover in other videos. But let's say you have a Wyoming LLC and then you own the Wyoming LLC and the Wyoming LLC owns this North Carolina LLC which owns the property in North Carolina, then you're gonna have to input the company information here. So you would select company, put in the company name and the company address down here. You should also note that if you have a trust that will be the member of this LLC, let's say you have a revocable living trust and that trust will be the member, select the company tab and just put the trust name in here where it says company name and that will do the job. However, in my case, I am an individual member. I'm going to select my name. I'm gonna use the assigned company address provided by Busy. I'm doing that just in case the member information is public knowledge in the state of North Carolina. I'd rather have a virtual office address than my own personal residence. Next. Okay, on this page you have the opportunity to agree to assign Busy as your registered agent for one year. As you can see, the guaranteed rates section down here, you are going to have a cap at $119 a year thereafter, which again is a great deal that they're never gonna raise that rate for the lifetime of the service, and it's free for one year. However, if you wanna be your own registered agent, you have to fill in your information down here. I'm choosing to assign Busy as my registered agent for free for one year. Next. 
Okay, on this page, I have to supply the information that Busy needs in order to obtain the EIN, the tax ID, the employer identification number for the LLC. So no, I am not a foreign individual. If I were a foreign individual, I would check yes, and I would agree to this. Just note it's gonna take longer if you're a foreign individual as the member of this LLC for Busy to obtain the tax ID, the EIN for your LLC. In my case, the answer is no. Putting in my name, putting in my social, physical street address, you can choose your home address, whatever your address is, your personal address, or you can use the assigned company address provided by Busy in my case, because I'm using their virtual office address. Just note that the document with your EIN on it that comes from the IRS that you're gonna receive, and like I said, about one business day after you form your LLC, is a document that is internal to you. It will not be public knowledge, so it will have whatever address you choose here on it. However, you will have to provide it to a bank and you may have to provide it to certain vendors or customers. So just keep that in mind if you don't want your home address on that document that will be provided to say vendors or customers, then you can choose, use the assigned company address provided by Busy. If you're not worried about that, you can choose your own home address. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you. Next. All right, on this page, they are discussing what the bonuses are depending upon what you deposit in your business banking account. Bank of America will provide some extra money as an incentive to induce you to make those deposits. All right, so you have three options down here. You can say, yes, I will apply online after I receive my business formation documents, or yes, have a Bank of America small business specialist call me, or no, not at this time. Just note that you cannot open your LLC bank account until you have both received your filed articles of organization in the state of North Carolina and you've received your EIN. You will get the EIN within one business day, like I said, but the articles of organization really depends upon whether you chose expedited filing or not. Because of that uncertainty, I'm saying no, not at this time. Note that you can book this consultation if you want the small business banker to contact you through your online access dashboard later. Next. On this page, they just go over what is included in the tax consultation. For example, how your LLC is taxed, how to choose the proper tax election. We talked about that with respect to S Corp election or not. Commonly missed deductions, business bookkeeping requirements, how to reduce the chances of an IRS audit all good stuff, how to reduce self-employment taxes. Yes, I would like a free business tax consultation. Next. Business licenses and permits for an extra $99, they will obtain for you if it is required a license or permit. Whether you need one or not depends upon your state and your county and your city and the type of business. I generally prefer to look this up on my own. I'm gonna say no, thanks, I'll do the work myself. Next. All right, this page simply confirms the information that you have submitted. Go through it carefully, make sure it all looks correct, and in my case it does. Next. All right, on this last page, you simply have to input your billing information, your credit card number, your billing address, you want to agree to the legal statement and cancellation policy. There's some frequently asked questions down here. If I haven't answered anything, please take a look at that. And then you're going to press complete and pay. And once you do that, they will start the process of filing your articles of organization in the state of North Carolina. Remember that if you want to be a manager, managed LLC, contact Busy right after pressing that button and let them know that. You can also get immediate access to your online access dashboard. You will get notifications of when your articles are filed and your LLC is officially formed. You can see your EIN. It should be there in one business day. You can book consultations. You can see documents depending upon which package you chose. And you're off to the races. Well, I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments section. I answer them on a regular basis. If you like the video, I encourage you to give me a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, which I churn out on a regular basis, please subscribe to my channel. And for that, I thank you. And I wish you and your LLC and your company all the best. Have a great day. Thank you.